queridos vosotros, a las mujeres verdaderas de Filadelfia. That's in Spanish. I am Miguel Teresa Hidalgo León, and I am from the Pampas of Buenos Aires in Argentina. And I'm visiting my cousins, the Leones de Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here today because my cousin, la esposa, wife of my cousin, is going to make for me mi sopa favorita en todo el mundo. Gazpacho. That's in Spanish too. Now today, Minas, Claudia is making another side dish for Pauladin y those real women of Philadelphia. Pero oye, Minas, this gazpacho is different and special. And do you know why? Claudia put red onions, cebollas rojas, in la sopa. Qué rica! Podéis imaginar? Bueno, ahora vení. Venís conmigo, mis amigos, a la cocina, to the kitchen of my cousin Claudia, for to make her wonderful and delicious red onion gazpacho. Ciao. Now, this recipe doesn't contain all that many red ingredients. Onions, cucumbers, green onion tops, half and half, and also some heavy cream, lots of butter, and our Philadelphia cream cheese. And this time I'm incorporating the fat-free variety into this recipe. So, what's my recipe for this warm despacho potage? You need one large cucumber, a half cup of diced red onions, four green onion tops diced, a half pint of half and half, one cup of heavy cream, four to six tablespoons of butter, a half teaspoon of cornstarch, a pinch of nutmeg, a fourth tablespoon of granulated onion, some salt to taste, and about 15 minutes. Hey y'all, I hope y'all liked Mimi, but I really gotta get down to business. You see, today, Paula's in Atlanta. Yeah. She's at the Galleria, and as soon as I'm done doing this gazpacho for you, I'm scampering down our red onion gazpacho, and I've already gone ahead and diced some of our red onion and our green onion tops, and I've gone ahead and chunked our um, our cucumbers and you're gonna need a food processor and this kind of goes in uh, in two things going on at one time first in the stove I've already put my butter in the saucepan and I'm gonna get that going and while I'm waiting for my butter milk I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just going to pop my onions my green onions and my cucumbers in my food processor if you don't have a food processor Get one. It's a lifesaver, ladies. And we're just gonna let it go around because we want that to get as smooth as it can possibly get. We're gonna add our Philadelphia cream cheese, and I'm using the low-fat or no-fat Philadelphia cream cheese. That's free. We're gonna just get our veggies. And we're gonna add them to the mixture already. The cucumbers, the butter, the onions, the cream cheese. We're starting to get a nice, nice, creamy mixture here. And basically, you just want to let this go until everything gets melted down and combined. Those red onions, the green onion tops, the butter. Woo! Smells great. Then we're going to go back and we're going to add our onion powder and a pinch of salt. It's really salt to taste, however much salt you can add. We're going to add some nutmeg. Philadelphia cream cheese is starting to and melt. This is turning to a nice light green color. And you can see the specks of the red onion down in there with that Philadelphia cream cheese. And boy, does it smell good. Uh, gazpacho. Gazpacho is usually just made with cucumbers and other vegetables, but I incorporated the, the onion in, into it because it, the, the sweetness of the red onion gives it a nice flavor, especially when combined with the nutmeg. It just brings it all together and it makes it a great, great, great soup. It can be served cold, which is the traditional way, but I like to serve it. I'm just gonna take my whisk now and start blending this all together because we want this to be nice and creamy and this will speed up the veggies, uh, the, the onions and the cucumbers dissipating. Man, I can't wait to see Paula. Oh wow, it's 
so excited. And we got that all in. Now we're going to come back and we're going to add our uh, milk ingredients. We're going to add our heavy cream. And mix that in. And then we're going to come on top of that with some of our half and half. Then we whisk that all in. And as you can hear, we've got like a great little soup on here. Hasn't started to thicken yet, but it will. As the heavy cream thickens and the Philadelphia cream cheese dissipates and the butter, the fats are going to start sticking together and it's going to make this get thicker. But then we're going to add a thickening agent, cornstarch. We're going to add our cornstarch in there. And now we know we've got some thickening power going on. We're going to let this go. We're going to bring this up to a, a bubbly boil. Not a rolling boil like you would boil pasta, but a bubbly boil, which means it's going to bubble around the sides. It's going to start getting thick. And then after that, we're going to come back, put it in our food processor, and then we're going to be ready to eat our wonderful, creamy red onion gazpacho. So now this has been going for about uh, seven minutes now, y'all, and it's got nice and thick. It's thickened up, and we're ready to go ahead and make it really smooth. And we're going to do that by once again putting it in a food processor. I like it really creamy. You can make it as chunky or as non-chunky as you want. Some people use it and they, they, they keep chunks of cucumber in it or chunks of onion in it, but I like it to be really smooth. So we're just going to turn this off. And you notice I had some goodies left in my food processor. I'm just going to go ahead and pour this into the processor. Whoa, look at that, those colors. Smell that nutmeg and onions. Wow. It smells really, really, really good. Ahead and we're just going to pulse that lightly. And then we can just let it go. we will let that go for a few minutes. Until all of those veggies are like chopped down into that puree, into that cream. Woo. It's hot. Those smells are absolutely yummy. I'm just going to pour some out so that you can see the texture of it. And here is your gazpacho off. You can go ahead and serve it immediately with some light garnish. But basically, that's the recipe. Quick and easy and tasty. Now I'm getting out because I'm going to see Paula. Bueno, che. Aquí estoy con la sopa. That means here I am with the soup. And ahora and now I'm going to taste this fabulous gazpacho, red onion gazpacho. Barbara. Cebollas, oh, onions, Philadelphia cream cheese, mm, crema, que rica, bueno, che, you have to make this soup for your familia, you have to, it is so, so good, and, and how do you say, for your salud, healthy as well, bueno, Miss Minas, I have to go now, let's back to Las Pampas. Rafael is waiting for me, you know. He's waiting to tango. Oh. But until next time, I am Miguela Teresa Hidalgo Leon for my cousin Claudia Signal Leon and the real women of Philadelphia coming to you from Atlanta. Nos vemos. Ciao.